This is part two in a series of seven videos. Here we're going to be working on using CSS to create a three column layout. In part two, we're going to be working on styling the body of a document and creating a container division. In this series of seven videos, we're going to create the three column layout that you see on the screen. To make these videos a little bit shorter, I have already set up raw code with divisions and a raw blank style sheet for us to work with. The code's provided for you within your Canvas website. The raw code when rendered in a browser is very ugly. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. I'm going to go run launch in Firefox and you can see that it is straight down code no styling we'll take care of that as we go along our first steps are going to be to do the body the background color we're going to change our font and we're going to increase the line spacing from the normal spacing we'll create a container division Using a wildcard asterisk, we'll move the container element to the top of the page so no blue will show at the top. We're going to set a width for that container of 950 pixels. We'll center the container. We'll put padding of 25 pixels around all of the content and we'll give that container unit a background of white. Okay, we're going to start styling. So the first thing that I always do is I create a reset rule. What this does is it takes away all the other rules as far as margin and padding go for the rest of our page. So we're going to do a margin of 0 pixels and we're going to do padding of 0 pixels. Now we can start defining things that we want to do ourselves. So we're going to go down to our body and we're going to give our body a background color Two two five p nine four. We're going to change our font base or font family. I like Arial and Sans Serif. And we're going to increase our line spacing from what is normal in our browser by one point five percent. And now we're going to work on our container. We're going to define a width, 950 pixels. We're going to give it a padding of 25 pixels all around so our content of our container won't butt up right against the sides. And we're going to give it a background color of white. I forgot to add a margin that will do the centering. We'll do a zero to the top, auto to the left and right. So let's save it, run it, and now we can see that we have our blue background. We have our container of 950 pixels across. So that's what we wanted to accomplish in this first video. Thank you for watching and continue on to video number three.